These are two NXGE material qualification build jobs. One in Inconel 625 and the other one in Titanium 64. Both of those were printed on the NXGE system. And they have a total height of 1.5 meters and 17 levels of material samples are stacked on top of each other to fully qualify the system. This is a very unique material qualification build jobs. It has more than 12,000 data points, which is more than the industry is asking for today. These data points are tensile samples, near natural tensile samples, are density samples via cross-sectional image analysis and also via CT, surface roughness. And these data points fully quantify and qualify the system in X, Y and Z direction so that the customer understands what performance he gets. This build job was already printed a year ago in Inconel 718 and was fully analyzed and validated. Uh, the results have actually exceeded our expectations. We have seen on the results that over the full height from the bottom to the top, we have a very stable material properties, for example, a yield strength of plus minus 15 megapascal, which ensures that the applications which our customers are printing are going to be very stable in terms of material performance. These two build jobs were printed in 60 microns prime material per meter set. The total build time is about 10 days each of this. It's a fantastic compromise of quality at a rather good speed. If you want to increase your speed, we also have the released 90 microns productivity and the 120 microns productivity plus material per meter, which can cut down your build time from 10 days down to just 3.8 days which in the end gives you an opportunity to print seven of those build jobs per month. This is a major impact on the operational qualification and the performance qualification of our customers. It's part of our mentality that we of course share these data points with our current customer base, but also with our future customer base in order to support them to onboard the system and also to significantly improve the customer's return of the investment of the system.